guys i'm back today with my february favorites yeah it's today is march 3rd so i'm not too late i thought i was gonna be extra late but i guess not so today i'm gonna do my favorites um i don't have a lot just because my favorites from last month were kind of the same for this month um there's a couple things that are not beauty beauty what beauty related that I wanted to show you guys is I am filming in a different area of my room and I am filming this way because I'm currently redecorating my makeup room and I know you guys want to see it but it's not complete I don't want to show you when it's not ready because there's a lot of um, things I still have to do to the room so I don't want to show you until I'm done and plus there's a freaking mess on the other side of the camera so I don't think you guys want to see that anyways if you follow me on Instagram, uh, and if you're not, I'm going to put my name somewhere here. You're going to see it. Uh, follow me because that's where I get, I put my updates on when I'm going to film. Like today I put that I was going to film a favorites video and I gave you a little sneak peek of what's my favorites. Well, one of my favorites, not all of them. So we're going to start off with that one. And it's actually my watch that I have on that I can't show you because I can't bend my wrist that way. And I like wearing anything on my left because I'm a, I am write with my right hand. And it's annoying when you just you hear all this jingling because of your bracelets and stuff. But this is one of my favorites. If it focused. Focus, please. Focus. Oh, there it is. And it is my G-Shock. And this is for kids. So it's called a Baby G. I actually got this a year ago when I went to Florida. And I wear it all the time just because I love the color. The black matches with anything. I like the hint of gold. And it's so small. Like, it's not oversized. It's like the right size for my wrist. And this is actually the only watch that I've bought that I actually like on my wrist because it's so small. I wear this pretty much every day um, and I like it because it has like the the regular watch clock but it also has an automatic or is that what it's called it has a digital digital clock as well that's what it is so this is definitely one of my favorites and I got it um I actually bought it at the outlets in Florida and it was like a hundred dollars for it which I didn't think it was bad and the good thing about it is that you can go into water with it so that will come in handy for my future vacations because when I went to Florida, we didn't keep track of time because we didn't have a watch. We only had our phones. So anywho, um, next favorite. Let's see, where should we start? Or what should be next? If I do repeat the products I mentioned last month, I apologize. First off is my brow routine. I've been in love because my eyebrows been on point lately and don't mind it because um i'm not allowed to pluck them if my boyfriend doesn't want me to pluck my eyebrows i gotta grow them out so it's been a little hard to do but and the first one is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow which i'm pretty sure you guys know about i do believe i have to get this in a darker color because i feel like it's too like like reddish brownish i don't know and this is in the color dark brown and I've had this for a year already and I've I used quite a, a lot of it so I hate when my the camera doesn't focus focus okay you know guys know what it looks like so. and then on top of that I put the brow bar to go by Gerard cosmetics and I've had this for like two years now and it's been pretty good to me because I've hit pan on both colors Except the wax, because I don't really use the wax, but everything else um, I hit pan on. And this is the one I use the most. So those are my two brow products I use. The next thing I've been really, really using every single day, and I have it on today, is my bronzer. And I've been really hooked on Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. Freaking love this bronzer just because for my skin tone, it like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's not, it doesn't give me a harsh look. I look like bronze, but not really. It's 
hard to explain but I know in like the lighting makes it look a little more darker than it really is because I have bad lighting but it really doesn't look this bad in person it looks really good so I recommend this for people that are my skin tone and the next thing that I used on my face today that I'm pretty sure you can see right here is the highlight and I've been into MAC soft and gentle I know this is an oldie but it's still really good um, I use this almost every day when I just want to do a little highlight but not too much which is what I have now it's not too much it's not overpowering my favorite scent of the month and it's been like I can't even describe it but it's like it just smells so amazing I I wish I could wear this every day but I don't because I don't want it to go to waste because then that means I have to buy another one which I don't mind because I really like it and that's the Ariana Grande perfume in Ari. Oh my god. I put this in my perfume um in my perfume collection, which I still have to put up. I did not forget about that. I will put it up. And it smells like I don't even know, but look at I got this for Christmas. And look at it. Look at it. I use so much of it because it's it's focused. Oh. Because it smells so good. And I also love the hair mist. It come, mine's with, came, my set came with a hair mist. And, oh. It tastes like perfume now. But this is a hair mist that, as you see, I'm almost done with as well. And I like it because it doesn't damage your hair. Because I know when, I don't know if you guys do it, but when I was younger, I used to spray perfume in my hair. And it's not good for your hair. So I like the fact that she actually made a hair mist spray. Because I love when my hair smells good. Like I love being able to whip my hair everywhere. And it smells really good. So I like that. I got new glasses. Um, I had some different ones. I don't know if I put it on my Instagram. But I know I put it on Snapchat. If you're not following me on Snapchat, you need to. Because that's where I post everything. I post my whole life there. And if you're not following me, I'll put the name right here. So you can have it to um follow me because you know you want to so i have posted a picture up on in on snapchat with big nerdy glasses but for some reason my eyes did not adjust to those glasses so i had to go back and get new ones so the ones i got i really like and i can't turn them on because i guess i can but i have contacts on so i can't see anything but they look like this i love the clear underneath i freaking love these glasses i don't know why it's a different style i never usually get these styles i like the leg it's really nice they're really nice glasses um i really do like them and i only paid like 80 bucks for them so which is good i stopped buying name brand glasses because i need to get new ones every year and that's a waste you're spending like 300 dollars every year that's i there's no point to it and then I throw my glasses everywhere because I don't wear them as often because I usually wear contacts but this is one of my favorites oh, my boyfriend's here is he oh no that's not him that's his brother all right I guess we'll do my favorite um food which is just one and I've been in love with this well I was in love but um I don't eat it anymore so but I did like it and this is the Goline, Goline Crisp Cereal. And it's Toasted Berry Crumble. Oh my god. This is so good. It tastes like, like a dessert. And um, when I used to eat it, I loved it. I used to eat it every day. Um, there's still some in here. My boyfriend eats it now. This was definitely my favorite one. When I was able to eat it. And I wish it was gluten free. But it is not. But for those of you that do eat um, gluten and wheat and stuff like that, I recommend this cereal. It's really, really good. I freaking love it. I wish I could eat it, but I can't. But yeah, I recommend it. I have two pairs of shoes that I want to show you that are my favorites. Um, the first ones are my running sneakers. I did start working out, guys, because I know I told you last time I was going to start working out. Ugh, I'm sorry, my hair's pissing me off. It's like, uh, and I run a lot. So my awesome running sneakers that I love are my Asics and I love them 
because they give me so much support and they're i do believe that these are the best running sneakers i've had because usually i have a couple nikes but i don't like them because i feel like they don't give me support unless i'm not buying the right nikes but i i'm pretty sure i buy all my sneakers running sneakers because that's what i do um so i think these have been my best uh pair of running sneakers uh, my second pair of shoes that i've been in love and i wish it rained more here because i want to wear them um and i got these for christmas my my boyfriend actually got them for me and they are the hunter boots and i freaking love these they are so freaking cute i actually have to buy the socks <coughs> excuse me i actually have to buy the socks because um when i went to buy these they didn't have the color i want i want the tan ones because i feel like if i do black it's gonna be too black i didn't want pink because i don't wear pink so the next choice was tan so i wanted the tan ones they didn't have it and i've been slacking on buying the socks because i feel like that would top my outfits with the cute socks it'll give it some texture some color so i definitely recommend these i did try them in the snow just to give it a little test they're good but i don't think like i think it's good for snow that it's not slippery snow if that makes any sense probably not but snow that doesn't have ice underneath because I wore these when it was like really icy. It well, it rained, it got cold at night. So it, everything turned into ice and then it snowed on top of it. So I was going to work and I almost did a split on my driveway and it was not cute cuz there was a lot of people that saw me almost bust my ass and yeah, I wouldn't recommend these if it just rained got cold and snowed on top but if it's just regular snow i recommend them but yeah i really like these i like how easy it is to keep um clean um and i got these from nordstrom or he got these at nordstrom and i like they fit my my thigh really my thigh no my calf really good because um, i had little skinny calves i have chicken legs and um it's if it's really good like here it's tight and it prevents from snow and rain going into your 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 shoe um my next item is my favorite book and the book i'm talking about is chloe kardashian strong looks better naked it is really 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 good and i know some of you guys hate the kardashians and i actually like them i don't mind them they're really i haven't met them in person but if i did i think i would like them um but chloe is definitely one of my favorite kardashians just because she is so real so honest and now she she's just so confident and i loved how she came out with this book because it it kind of inspires people to be more confident and love yourself and love your body and love what you what you look like and i think this book is very inspiring and i do believe this is a purpose the purpose why she came out with this book is to inspire other women slash girls to love themselves just the way they are but also um love themselves enough to treat their body better so like working out and eating better so my favorite show and i think that's that will be it yeah, I think that's it. I don't really have a lot. I wish I had more, but I don't. But my favorite show of all time, and if you have not watched this show, you need to get to it. I don't, don't even finish this video. Well, yeah, finish the video first. Finish this video, and then, and then after, you need to go get on your little Netflix, get on on demand, whatever you have, and you need to go watch how to get away with murder because this show has you on your toes like i love the fact that there's so much like plot twists like you think it's one person but it's not because it's really the other person like it like plays with your mind so much and i love those kind of shows i hate shows that are like you know what's gonna happen you know who's gonna die you know like i hate those shows because they bores me i like exciting shows like this and it's it's amazing. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to 
do any spoilers because I know some of you guys hate spoilers but definitely watch it I recommend it it's really good if you don't like seeing blood or or, or you know crazy cases then I suggest you don't watch it but if you don't mind it you need to watch it I we watched we as in me and my boyfriend watched season one we still have to watch season two um season one of um what is it called oh season one of how to get away with murder oh my god my brain is like so fried from work today excuse me and my brain um and we watched it the whole season 13 episodes i think it was 13 or 14 one of those two on one day and they're 43 minutes long each episode with no commercials which is really good so i definitely recommend it it's so good but if you do watch it <coughs> i got something in my throat <coughs> okay okay all right so if you do watch it comment below i want to know what you think of the show be, don't spoil anything for anyone don't I just want to know what you think of the show if you believe my recommendation was the bomb because I know you're gonna think so and comment below because I want to know I want to know favorite album well I have two that I've been listening to um and I listen to it every single day as I drive to work on repeat on repeat 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 because it's such it's there, these two albums have been amazing so the first one yes you're gonna be like what but yes i've been in love with fetty wap's cd oh my god i freaking love fetty wap just because he he the way he raps it's like different it's not like how everyone else does like they talk about like sex and all this stuff that you don't even want to know about but he talks about like real stuff like he doesn't disrespect women in his in his um songs he like i just can't explain it it's just he knows how to make music without having it to be about guns killing violence calling women names that they don't want to be called like so i really enjoy it i like his album a lot if you want to know specifically what tracks i play all the time on repeat every single day every single day it would be track number nine number 11 number 12 and number 13. go check it out fetty wap i forgot the name of the album but check it out second one you're gonna guess it yep it's justin bieber because he I at first I liked Justin Bieber when he came out then I didn't really like him because he got into this mood where he wanted to rap and it is mm -mm, not his kind of cup of tea mm -mm. so then he made this CD and I'm like oh another Justin Bieber CD Ugh, people are going crazy but then I heard the songs and I'm like oh, this is Justin oh, he makes this kind of music what so then I got the CD. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give little Bieber a try. So then I got his CD. And I've been playing it. Because you know when you first get a CD, you're like, oh, I don't really like it. Until you start playing the whole CD over and over and over again. And then you start liking it. So then I'm like, wow. This is a really good CD. I freaking love the whole CD. Like, I know the words to every freaking little song that he has. Because it's so freaking good. Like, it's just... It has so much meaning to it like it's not no like bs music like it has meaning to it and i just love it his voice is amazing his lyrics are amazing and who doesn't love justin bieber now and he's a little hot because i love the tattoos and uh, okay enough of that but yes that is my also second favorite album so i think that's it that's all I got for you guys. I know it wasn't a lot of favorites, but I try to give a little bit of everything. I will definitely start writing down what I end up, what I do end up liking throughout the month of March. That way my list can be a little longer and you guys can enjoy what I like. And maybe you guys will buy some of the stuff that I got. 
um, subscribe because uh, I see that I'm getting a little more subscribers so I hope you guys like my videos and if you have a friend that watches YouTube and doesn't have anyone to subscribe to tell them to subscribe to me because I am the shit I know so definitely subscribe definitely comment below um, that if you watch how to get away with murder and what you think and also other videos you want to watch and thumbs up my video I would greatly appreciate it follow me on my social media I will link it below make sure you check below and make sure you always check my description box because it will have tons of details of everything so make sure you check down there I will try to put links of all the stuff that I just mentioned right now in case you guys want to buy it go ahead and buy it because I'll have the links below so I hope you guys enjoyed as always and thank you for watching Bye.